Rico said to fella, he flew the last flight to leave Indonesia's Palu Airport before disaster struck. Now, safely on board the plane, he captured the catastrophic events below. You can see the huge waves making their way to shore. And at the time, Mafella didn't realize the sacrifice one man made to make sure that he and the passengers on board his plane made it out alive. Azonius Gurman Agong was the air traffic controller on duty who refused to leave his post until that plane was safely in the air. Mafella is now hailing the 21-year-old as a hero. Enrique Sita Mafella joins me now by Skype from Jakarta. Sir, thank you so much for joining us here on the program. You have called this yes. air traffic controller a hero. You've called Mr. Agong your guardian angel. You believe he saved your life and the life of your passengers. Tell us why. Yeah, that's correct. Well, uh, the job of the ATC are very important and very crucial during the uh, takeoff phase. And that time, he has to make sure that my departure, my takeoff are are completely safe until I'm airborne. You can imagine if something happened, uh, if I have to abort my takeoff, I think he's the only one who can communicate uh, with me and he can assist me if I need some uh, medical ambulance or a fire truck. And you were safely up in the air before the tsunami hit. So at what point did you realize what happened on the ground and, and how did you feel? How did you react? Well, uh, I, when, when I reached Makassar, I heard that the uh, earthquake started at 1802, and my departure was 1802 as well. Well, I felt just like a strange feeling at the very last of my takeoff phase, um, uh, like the aircraft movement to the left and the right, and during the airborne, I don't feel anything. But uh, after 1,500, I realized something on the coast happening. Yeah, and from the sky, you saw how massive that tsunami was. Could you describe that? What did it look like to you? Okay, it was, uh, if you can see on my video, that's, it's just a very yeah. start. I mean, it's just a very a small radius, but actually, it's a, if you can scale it, it's a quite huge. And, and then uh, around 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 feet, those, those circles, wide circles, are getting bigger and bigger. And it's not just one. Uh, I think it's around five to seven uh, circles in that coast. It was a, uh, that time for me, I thought it was a project, land project or something like that, which I don't, I don't realize. But I was, I was like uh, having a curious, curious with my first officer. I was like asking him, what is that? Is that a project or maybe landslide or something? I was not... Uh, aware of that uh, tsunami or earthquake. Yeah, what you witnessed was that disastrous tsunami, and it's been five days since the earthquake and the waves that it triggered. You know, roared ashore. This has been a terrible disaster for your country. Do you feel that heroes like Mr. Agong, that they help lift the spirits of the Indonesian people at this critical time? Oh, yes, I believe um, he gave us an, a very, very good example of being uh, uh, dedicated as a person. No matter what, uh, uh, he's a professional. He's willing to risk his life for everyone's. And he's, he's, he was still on the tower that time when uh, there's a witness told me that uh, everybody tried to call him to step down, but he said, no, the, the aircraft is still on the runway or, or not take off yet or not airborne. And then those earthquakes are starting already. And then when the, the, the peak of the uh, magnitude uh, happens, uh, that's when he start after my airborne. And that's when the start of the, um, uh, the roof of the tower are collapsing. That's when he jumped and mm -hmm. broke his leg and arm. You know, and in the end, he, he passed away, you know, giving up his life to yeah. save others. The days Rufus later, yeah. Fella, thank you so much for sharing this touching story for us, yeah. you know, giving yeah. us this tribute to this man who you call your guardian angel, a hero to many. Yes, May Mr. True. Agong rest in peace. Sir, thank you so much and take All care. Right. No, now, if no you worries. would like to help those affected by the earthquake and tsunami in Indonesia, just go to cnn.com slash impact. And there you'll find links to organizations working to bring relief. Again, that address is cnn.com slash impact.